Hey, welcome to D. Courtney Shane Williams Podcast. It is Wednesday, February the 3rd. You know what that means. All right, Super Bowl talk. So I'll be talking about the Super Bowl. I'll let you know what I think is going to happen. Um, also, first podcast in Black History Month. We'll address that. We might get to the Grammys. I don't know if I'll have time, but uh, let's get it started. Here we go. We are the ultimate. We are the ultimate. We are the ultimate. Rock, rock, and it. Rock, rock, and it. Rock, rock, and it. We are the ultimate truth. We are the ultimate. We are the ultimate. Hey, what's rock, up, everybody? Uh, thank you uh, for tuning in, stumbling across, or even subscribing to the Courtney Show Warriors podcast. That's my man, The Roots, Quest Love, um, Black Thought, and all the other people getting paid by Jimmy Fallon. I'm going to let that ride out in the black room, background. That's more Roots for y'all. Um, speaking of Roots, uh, Black History Month. So we get to start on that. Um, I've been watching Roots, you know, in honor of my black history. It's my favorite uh, favorite thing about, you know, I guess, you know, I guess the month. I mean, but it's the whole month. Martin Luther King Day, that was my favorite holiday. So, you know, I'm very divulged in the black history. If I ever went back to school, I know I would definitely want to ex- extensively, like, study that and really know that. I don't know, it's just something that's very, like, you know, uh, intriguing about, you know, just knowing those, uh, what happened in those stories. It just makes you so much more appreciative of, uh, you know, where I am now. You know, black or white, but especially, you know, black people because... They did things um, at that time that now I won't even, you know, have to uh, encounter, you know, at least directly in my life. I mean, uh, you know, you know, maybe something happens, I get taken over, but you know, they went through things that you know I, I've never had to go through. You know what I mean? And my father hasn't had to go through, and even my grandmother. So. Um, got to pay respects to them and, uh, definitely got to, uh, you know, look back and I just like, you know, looking at it. Especially it's cool now too because I'm grown and like my, my father used to really talk about black history and he used to like force it on me. But at the time I didn't really understand it. So like he used to like shove it down my throat like, you know, like a pill you don't want to take. But it was the best thing. It was the best thing and actually... Um, when I was really young, I didn't really like it, but then when I started to hit probably about, uh, I would say like 14, between like 10 and 14, a lot of racial stuff happened, because I moved to Florida, and then after 14, I started looking at that, you know, I started getting entering high school and looking at black history, then it all kind of made sense that they, you know, they did this, and, and I understood, you know, where it started and actually in a ways it gave me a lot of strength probably you know what I mean to even be who I am today so uh, shout outs to Pops one time and um, that's that no smooth transition from here but the Super Bowl it's Wednesday so I posted a new blog today uh, you can see it. it's on blogspot.com um, it's courtneyshane.blogspot.com or you can go to facebook.com slash courtneyshane and uh, subscribe to my blog. You know, all five people listening, subscribe. And uh, <laughs> check out my prediction. So all I'm going to say is the Saints are going to win. The Saints are going to win up uh, up and down. They're the better team. Um, they they have one deficiency, or not even deficiency, but I believe that they're not as good as the Colts at quarterback. But outside of quarterback, they have the advantage on defense. Uh, offense and special teams and that's just the eyeball test I'm not looking at stats and well this and this I mean all I know is they played better teams for the last month better than the Colts have played um, they beat a team that was better than them Colts haven't done that um, and let me let's be known Colts I mean technically are undefeated you know technically it don't really matter um, I do know that the white free is hurt you know that takes away from the Colts and I mean, one of the biggest things to me, you know, by the way, I'm accepting uh, any and all bets. But one of the biggest things to me is that um, I think the game's going to be won on special teams. Both off- offenses are special. And for people that think Peyton Man is just going to score 50 points, you're out of your mind. You must live in, you know, I don't know, in Napa or somewhere. I don't know. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think that, but I think it's going to come down to special teams, and I just think New Orleans special teams will have one or two big plays, and then the Colts won't, and that'll be how they win the game. So, um, that's what I think it's going to come down to, you know, and um, I know the Saints have a big edge at coaching, and I think that's really going to show them through, especially with the white finger hurt. He's going to have an opportunity, uh, Sean Payton is, to show some more skills. By the way, the Paytons, <laughs> all right. Anyways, didn't get that. So, um, that's my Super Bowl prediction. Um, so, uh, I wrote a little uh, 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 column on that. That's what I'm going to start calling it. It's actually not the column. It's called The Pillar. And uh, I want to get that uh, copywritten. Uh, but, uh, The Pillar. So, um, I'm going to have that. Uh, I wrote that. And I'm going to start posting a lot uh, more blogs. You know, I'm um, starting to kind of enjoy that writing aspect. And, um... Other than that, you know, that's that as far as the Super Bowl goes. Um, now, the Grammys. I got about two minutes left. Jam it in. Um, the Grammys, uh, disappointing at best. Uh, terrible. Um, worst I've seen. And I didn't even watch the whole thing. I couldn't. I mean, the country music overload. Um, don't really care for country too much, but it is what it is. Taylor Swift. Okay. Something's still wrong with that girl's eyes. Uh, Lady Gaga, uh, a little too much for me. I mean, reel it in, alright? Reel it in. I mean, I don't know if she's in the back doing blow or what, but come on. Reel it in. Reel it in a little bit, you know. But uh, her career will be over soon because, you know, so, it's only so long that I think you can just go with that crazy thing and then talent has to come. Now, if she potentially, if she has some talent and skills... To back it up in the crazy thing with the dresses and all that weird stuff is just something to put herself out and then show her talent like some artists have done before her. I think it's a great idea because you got to be seen. You know, if I knew I could get on Comedy Central by wearing, you know, something that showed my breast, I would do it. And then when I got on there and then I put myself in a position, if I backed it up with my jokes, then that pulls me in and keeps me in because talent in skills, in artistry, and all that stuff is what keeps you in the limelight. So, we'll see what happens. But, uh, Grammy's disappointing. Um, we'll see what happens with the Academy Awards. By the way, uh, two big thumbs down for Avatar. Uh, but we'll talk about that in the next podcast. Uh, gotta go. Quick podcast. Shotgun. So, Saints winning the Super Bowl. Um, black History Month. Make sure, uh, you do something. Honor Black History. White or Black. It doesn't matter. And, um... Uh, not goo goo for Gaga. All right, it's Courtney Shane Wins podcast. Uh, take it easy. Subscribe to my blog. Um, email me. Uh, talk to you later. Peace. <coughs> you just witnessed an on purpose production. <laughs>